This is Little Gem. Not a variety of lettuce, but a 40 foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in the year 2000 by Liverpool Boats. The current owners have only had a, a year they're looking to upgrade to a longer boat, but they've done a lot to her and she's in lovely condition. She was epoxy two packed in July 2017, so blacking won't be required for years. She was serviced in July 2017, the engine mounts were replaced. And so remedial steel work was required, which was done post-purchase. So she's very sound. The paintwork's in good condition. And there are various peculiarities in life that make you wonder. One is how does the man who drives a snowplow get to work? And the other one is how does a 40-foot boat with a 7-foot cruiser stern and a 3-foot well deck feel so spacious she's got so much room in her she feels you'll see as we go through you could very comfortably have a family of four on here for holidays or extended cruises and you could be on a 50 foot boat turn to the saloon the saloon's 10 feet 4 inches long there's an l-shaped dinette here that converts into a double bed the woodwork here was done by jim birch of oakcraft narrowboats in weedon those of you who know his work will know that it doesn't come better. So that's lovely. The stove is brand new. That's a more so squirrel. Cupboards a 22 inch 240 volt TV and a Sony Bluetooth stereo in the corner there. The boat's fitted out in oak faced ply with oak faced MDF cupboards and Other bits and pieces, and there we go. There's the view down the saloon. Head height's very good, as with most Liverpool boats, six foot six, and the painted seating gives a feeling of space. The floor's solid wood, I believe it's oak. And the galley's got everything that you would need. Spotlessly clean cooker, that's a Thetford Caprice Mark III. Four burner gas hob, looks like a hall of mirrors in the oven there, look. Some decorative tiling and some good storage space over. Huge cupboards underneath with lights that come on when you open the doors. You could probably get somebody sleeping in there. It looks like a bunk it's so long. And the fridge is a 12 volt inlander. There's a nice box in there as well. Charming boat. Nice curves there on the dividers between the galley and the saloon. And down the corridor we go on the port, on the starboard side rather, sliding door into the bathroom. There's a countersunk sink there, the loser Setford cassette. Shower cubicle is two feet too wide, it's curtained with some very good storage between the cubicle and the gunnels. There we go, nice shower, tiled. And the bedrooms. In the aft cabin, the bed is six foot four inches long, four feet wide. Storage under. Some very good cupboard space in here as well. There's the inverter, that's two kilowatt. That pumps 230 volt electricity through the boat. And some cupboards over with reading lights under. Lighting on board is LED. And the boat, of course, comes with fenders, ropes, piling irons, chains, that sort of thing. The engine under there is a Beta Marine. That was, as I say, serviced. The gearbox was new in 2014. And the well deck itself is seven feet long. The gas locker is that red box on the left. That houses two 13 kilo bottles. Good space on the stern deck, very social space. You could get a drop leaf table and dine outside. We used to do it on our boat. 
She's lovely, she's perfect for living aboard, weekend boat, just holidays. Maybe like that little black thing there, by the way, there's a little storage locker in the bows. It's a Velcro cover. So there we go, that's Little Gem. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.